winter, it seems like it does the same thing. It gets into a position. It's winter time. Uh, you know, Germany or whoever that needs natural gas, and so we'll just put a little squeeze on them and, and you know, make them feel the pain a little bit and threaten them a little bit. Uh, you know, we've been that route before. You know, whether this is more significant than any other ones, I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of the way I would look at it, political posturing. Maybe it's successful, maybe it isn't. Uh, you know, I don't think the people in Germany might appreciate it. They don't want to freeze any more than anybody else, but... Uh, you know, I, I see it as kind of a, a, one of those temporary blips and probably not long-term consequence. Okay. Now, if there are no other questions, uh, just want to remind everybody that we do have a series of webinars that we will doing uh, be uh, having in the next uh, few months regarding strategies, trading strategies, uh, different types of markets. So I want to make sure that you know about those. Watch the, the Trader Planet website uh, and uh, see what see what you think. There might be topics there that you want. Okay, one more question here I see. Do we have any opinion on the seeming inconsistencies with reporting of future reserves by the OPEC countries, uh, especially Saudi Arabia? Uh, I've seen all kinds of estimates. I saw one that was talking about Iraq, and they're talking about the estimates they made on their reserves in the ground, what they call the proven reserves, and what the actual reserves are. And they're saying that with today's technology, that the reserve figures that they were using were from 30 years ago. That today's number, today's estimate of proven reserves is uh, much higher. And we know that we have had other reports of, uh, like oil shale and all that kind of stuff. So the question when you talk about peak oil we're running out of oil and how much proven reserves do we have and you know, it's almost any number you want to imagine because everybody uh, kind of puts a different slant on it depending I suppose a little bit on the case they're trying to make uh, it seems to me that we're in a situation that we are uh, not going to run out of oil I don't think that means you waste oil you know you, you know you use it just you know throw it away just because you got it but it doesn't seem like we with the technology we have and the oil fields they're discovering, uh, I don't see a shortage of oil in the near future. Uh, it's more a matter of distribution and more a matter of the politics of oil. Turn it over to Darla. I, again, I appreciate the fact that you came to this webinar. I look forward to seeing you at others. Um, thank you for attending today. Thank you for an informative presentation, Daryl. Uh, if our audience would want to show a little bit of appreciation and give Daryl some applause, you have the means to do that through the raising hand icon in the lower left corner of your screen. Today's webcast will be available on Trader Planet later this afternoon, and we will email each of you with the link to the archive. Lastly, the Click Here link on the final slide will permit you to request free market forecasts and additional information on Vantage Point Intermarket Analysis software. This concludes today's webinar session. Thank you and have a pleasant afternoon.